so welcome to all of you today we will see how to find the equation of a sphere having a and b as the end points of a diameter okay so that is the diameter form of the equation of the sphere okay so this is theorem the equation of the sphere with segment ab as a diameter where a is equal to x1 y1 z1 and b is y x2 y2 z2 is this is the equation of the sphere whose end points of the diameter are a and b okay so we'll see okay proof let a x1 y1 z1 and b x2 y2 z2 be the end points of end points of a diameter of the sphere Yeah. So, so to find the equation of the sphere, what we have to do? We have to assume a general point on the sphere. Okay. So let p x y z be any point on the sphere. So you have to find the relation of x y z, x y y z one, x two y two z two. Okay. So that will be the equation of the sphere. Okay. Okay. So this is the Suppose this is A now. Suppose this is B now. This is your P now. This is your P. So then, this what? Okay. So therefore, therefore, angle APB is equal to 90 degree. Angle APB is 90 degree. That is, that is, AP is perpendicular to BP. AP is perpendicular to BP. Okay. So DRS of AP are APR because you have the coordinates of A, coordinates of B, coordinates of B easily can find the DRS of AP and DRS of BP. So DRS of APR x minus x one, y minus y one, z minus z one. Okay. So DRS of BPR x minus x two, y minus y two, z minus z two, z minus z two. As as AP is perpendicular to BP, therefore we have therefore we have we have what? So these two are perpendicular. So x minus x one, x minus x two, plus y minus y one, y minus y two, plus z minus z one, z minus z two is equal to zero. Okay. So this is the required equation of the sphere. This is the required equation of The sphere, sphere. It is called, it is called diameter form form of the equation of the sphere. Diameter form of the equation of the sphere. That means what? If you want to find the equation of the sphere, we need the end points of the diameter or center and radius. Only these two ways are there to find the equation of the The sphere. So that means what? If you have provided some conditions to try to find the center and radius, or try to find the end points of the diameter. Once we get the end points of diameter or the center and radius of the uh, sphere, you are ready to find the equation of the sphere. Okay. Uh, so we'll take a problem only. Obtain, obtain the equation of. Equation of the sphere. Equation of the sphere. Describe. Describe on the on the join of the points. Join of the points. Two minus three four and minus five six minus seven. As diameter, diameter. Okay. Uh, solution. What after the equation of the sphere? Describe <coughs> on the join of this. Okay. So given that, 
given that a two minus three four and b minus five six minus seven are end points of end points of a diameter end points of a diameter of the sphere of a sphere. Okay, so by diameter form by diameter form equation of sphere is by diameter form equation of the sphere is what x minus 2 x plus 5 y plus 3 y minus 6 z plus 4 z, uh, z minus 4 okay z minus 4 z plus 7 is equal to 0 okay. just expand this so this is what x square y square z square no problem for this just we collect the middle term now this is what uh, minus 2 this is so plus 3x minus 2 plus 5 that is plus 3x so minus uh, plus 3 minus so this is what minus 3y easy you can expand this okay so this is what z minus 4 z plus 3 so plus 3z okay so now your constant is what minus 10 this constant is minus 10 this is minus 18 that is minus 28 this is minus 28 okay so this is 56 minus 56 is equal to 0 okay so now you are if a and b are any end point of diameter you can find this only the crucial part is what you have to expand this okay so this is also one line uh, actually one line question or you can do like this one we uh, get a drop in the equation of that just say that each something like this okay obtain obtain the equation equation of the smallest of the smallest sphere passing through passing through passing through a <coughs> minus one two three and b one three minus four okay solution so what we want so we want the smallest sphere okay so we want we want the smallest sphere the smallest sphere passing through passing through the points passing through the points a minus one two three and b one one uh, three minus four so so a a b must be must be a diameter a b must be a diameter right so this a b must be a diameter okay so then it will be the smallest sphere okay so by diameter form by okay by diameter form the equation of sphere is equation of the sphere is uh, we have written already this word x plus 1 x minus 1 y minus 2 y minus 2 y minus 3 here you have to subtract this but this is minus 1 so plus z minus 3 z plus 4 is equal to 0 so this is what x square plus y square plus z square okay so they are already there now coefficients of x square y square z square must be same now okay no problem uh, we we'll collect the constant now so here what uh, this is what uh, x plus o 1 x plus 1 x minus 1 so there is no middle term because plus 1 minus 1 is 0 now so this, this middle term is what here minus 5y okay so plus z now plus z the constant is what constant is minus 1 uh, this constant is 6 then minus 12 minus 12 so this is minus 6 so minus 7 is equal to 0 okay 
So this is the required equation of the sphere. We have already written the equation of the sphere. So no need to write that. This is the required equation of the sphere. Okay. So again, this is the one line question. A point, a point moves, moves so that, so that the sum of, the sum of the squares of, the squares of its distances, its distances from the six faces of a cube of a cube is constant is a constant show that show that its locus its locus is a sphere is a point moves so that the sum of the squares of its distance from the six faces of a cube is constant. So that its locus. Okay. So say take O, take O, uh, instead of O, the center we call this. Take center of a cube. Take a center of a cube as the origin, as the origin and the planes and the planes through the center the center parallel to parallel to its faces as coordinate plane as coordinate Plane and for this plane, let each edge, each edge, each edge of the cube of the cube each edge of the cube is equal to twice a. Is equal to twice a. Then, then equations of equations of the face are x is equal to x is equal to minus a. Uh, x is equal to a. y is equal to a. y is equal to minus a. Then third is equal to a. Third is equal to minus a. So this we will discuss how it is. Okay, suppose this is a cube. Each length is twice a. And suppose this is a x axis, y axis, z axis, something like that. Okay. So actually we have to take this as okay, no problem. Okay. Now this distance is a, this distance is this distance is this distance is uh, a, this distance is also a now. Okay. Suppose this is y axis, z axis, this is x axis. Then these spaces, there are six spaces. Okay. So this is what we are yz plane. So equation of yz plane is what? So equation of okay, so this is a plane. Uh, passing this plane is parallel to the uh, xz plane, xz plane. So it comes to the y axis now. So the equation of this is what y is equal to minus a. This uh, it is what y is equal to a. This comes to the uh, z axis, this plane. So equation of this plane is what z is equal to minus a. Equation of this plane is what z is equal to a. So these are the six spaces. Okay. So now, so here we will take any point here. Okay. Let, let P, X, Y, Z be any point, 
Bearing point on the cube. Bearing point on the locus. Locus. So what we are given? Uh, uh, a point moves so that the sum of the square of its distance from the six faces is the constant. Okay. The sum of the squares of the distance from the this is constant. Means what here? So we have to apply the distance formula. That is what uh, x minus a square, uh, x plus a square, y plus a square, y minus a square. So we we'll use one notation. Third minus a square, third minus third plus a square. Is equal to constant, okay? We'll say this is k square now. We'll say this is k square. Okay. Now we'll expand this. We will expand it. Okay. So distance of this and this is what x minus a, x plus a. Distance between them. Okay. So this is the sum of the squares of the faces, six faces. So from each plane now. Okay. So that is the k square. We'll expand this. What we get there? This is what uh, x square x square y square y square. So this is twice x square plus twice y square plus twice z square. Okay. So because there are x square x square. So now we collect the middle terms. So this is minus twice x a plus twice x a get cancelled. Okay. Now here what then? Uh, twice x square twice x square plus twice z square plus twice x square is equal to k square. Is equal to k square. So now, this is what twice x square plus twice y square plus twice z square is equal to is equal to k square. Wow, oh, this is what a square a square now. So k square minus so how many is six a square six a square. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 a square k k square. Okay. So now, this is equation of a sphere. This is the equation of a sphere. So thus, thus, locus of is a sphere. We get a, this is the locus of the beam. This is the locus of the beam. We get a sphere. Okay. So actually, this is three dimensional geometry. A plane passes through. A plane passes through. A fixed point. A B C fixed point A B C show that show that the locus of the locus of the foot of the foot of the perpendicular perpendicular to it from the origin from the origin is the sphere is the sphere x square plus y square plus z square minus x minus b1 minus cz is equal to 0 minus cz is equal to 0 so a plane passes through a fixed point a b c okay okay solution the equation of of the plane passing through passing through the point A B C each passing through the point A B C uh, L into I can write L into no problem this x minus a plus m into y minus b plus uh, L into I can uh, take the capital A B C also L M A 
So n is equal here minus c is equal to this is the equation of the plane. Equation of the uh, the locus of the foot of the perpendicular to it from the origin is the sphere. Okay. Okay. The equation of a line. The equation of a line perpendicular to perpendicular to the plane to the plane from the origin perpendicular to it from its origin. Okay, from the origin equation of in equations. Okay, equations of a line perpendicular to the plane. Okay, so this is a perpendicular. So DRS of the normal to the plane are NMN. Okay, the line is a perpendicular to the plane. Okay, <coughs> so that means what? So DRS are NMN. Okay, DRS are NMN. So X upon N. Uh, line is passing through origin. N of uh, Z upon N. Z upon N. We call this as two now. We call this as two. Okay. So eliminating yen m yen from one and two, we get eliminating yam and n we get. So value of n is what x. So x into x minus a plus y into y minus b plus z into z minus c is equal to zero. So this is what x square plus y square plus z square minus x minus b y minus c z is equal to zero. Zero. So this is. So this is. This is a locus of the foot of the perpendicular to it from the origin. From the origin okay so this is also very simple next find the equation of <coughs> the sphere of the sphere passing through passing through the point passing through the point three zero two minus one 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 two minus five four and having center and having center on the plane on the plane twice x plus three y plus four z is equal to six. <coughs> okay. Solution. What find the equation of the sphere passing through this? Okay. Solution. Solution. Let A, B, C be the given point, be the given points, given points on the sphere, on the sphere. I write this equation here. Uh, I, got, I want this equation later on now. Just I write here. Okay. okay. So, these are the given point. So you have given the idea of the center. The center of the sphere is lies bit lies on this one. Okay. So once you got the coordinate of the center, then what these uh, points are on the sphere. So find out the distance of that center from any point that will be the radius. Okay. So it is better to find the center and the radius of the sphere now here. Okay. So here now it is a this problem is different from the uh, diameter form of this. Okay. So let let so I will say this is a or A B C. Okay, I will say this is D U 
B, W, B, the center. I can say this is no problem. O, U, V, W, B, the center, B, the center of the sphere. Of the sphere. So, if this is the center, then what O, A, so therefore, O, A is equal to O, B is equal to O, C. Is equal to O, C. Because what? O is the center and this A, B, C on the sphere. So, O, A is equal to O, B is equal to. So, therefore, what? O, A square is same as O, B square. Okay. O, A square is same as O, B square is same as O, C square. Okay. So, I will take O, A square is equal to O, B square. Now, see, I want to find U, V, W. I want to find V, W. So, these are the three unknowns. So, I must get the three equations. So, what? See, one equation you can get from O, A square is equal to O, B square. Second equation you can obtain from O, A square is equal to O, C square. And third equation, your center lies on the plane. That means what you will have to satisfy the equation of the plane. So this is what the third relation from the plane you get. So we have three equations, three unknown. We can solve this simultaneously and we can obtain the values of U, V, W. Once you get the value of U, V, W, find the distance O, A, that will be the radius. So you get a radius. So this is the center. By radius form, you can find the equation of the sphere. Okay. So O, A square is equal to O, B square. So this is what U minus 3 square. V minus 0. Well, uh, W minus 2 square well, is equal to U plus 1 square, V minus 1 square, W minus 1 square. We will correct this. See, U square, V square, W square, U square, V square, W square get cancelled. Okay. So, we will collect the coefficient of U now. So, coefficient of U here what? Minus 6 U. And this is what? Twice U. So twice will be here. So this is what? Minus 8u. Minus 8u. Okay. Now uh, here there is no v. So v is here. Minus twice v is there. We are shifting this to this side. So this is twice v. This is twice v. Then this is what? Minus 4w. This is minus 4w. And this is what? Minus twice w. So minus twice w is here. It becomes a 4w now. It becomes 2w. This is minus 4w plus 2w is nothing but the minus twice w is equal to. Here constant is 3. Here constant is 3. And here what? The constant is what? Uh, 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. So this is what? Minus 13. Okay. So minus 13 means this is what? Minus 10. So this is what? Divisible by 2 now here. And I will uh, change the sign of all also. So this is what? 4u minus v plus w. Plus the group is equal to 5. I am changing the sign of all. Now, this is your equation 1. Now, this is your equation 1. So, we will obtain the second equation. So, this is what OA square is equal to OC square. Okay. So, now OA square is equal to OC. So, OA square is already there. So, just write this plus B minus 0 square plus W minus 2 square. Okay. Now, we will find OC square now. Your C is what? Your C is this. Okay. So u minus 2 square, uh, v plus 5, v plus 5 square, w minus 4 square. Okay. Again here u square, v square, w square get cancelled. We collect the coefficients of u, v, w. So here what? Minus 6 u. Here is minus 6 u. Here what? Minus 4 u. Become plus 4 u. So this is what? Minus twice u. Minus twice u. Here there is no v. So this is what? Plus 10 v. So this is what minus 10b now. So here what minus 4w, minus 4w, minus 4w is there. So that is what there. Uh, <coughs> so that is what minus 8w, minus 8w become plus 8w. So this is 4w now. This is 4w. Okay. Here constant is what? Uh, this is 4, 4 plus 20. Okay. So 4 plus 25 plus 16. Here what? And here part is what? 9. So this is minus 9 then. You are shifted to that side. Minus 4. So this 4, 4 get cancelled. Okay. So 16. So this is 7. 7 plus 25 is 32. Okay. So 32. So again we can share. Okay. So we will not change the sign now. That 32 will be the constant as it is. We will divide by just. We will divide by this just. What? Minus u. Minus 5v. Plus twice w is equal to 16. Plus twice w is equal to 16.
So this is second one. We will check the correct one. We will check it once again now. Okay. Uh, we will check the sign only. So this is minus 6 u. This is plus 4. So plus 4 minus 4 becomes plus 4 here. Okay. So this is the correct answer. Uh, there is no v. So this is 10 v. So minus 10 v, the plus 10 v is uh, here. Okay. So this is minus uh, uh, minus 4 w, and uh, this is minus 4 w. So this is what minus 8 w plus 8 w. This is the correct only. So 4 plus 25 plus 16. So 9 is shifted to that side, and 2 is shifted to that side. 4 4 get cancelled. 16 minus 9 is 7. Yes, 7. 7 plus. Uh, uh, 25, 7 plus 25 is 32, this is correct. Uh, so, okay, so this is correct. Okay. Now, now, uh, O, U, V, W lies on the sphere. Lies on the sphere. Uh, lies on the plane now. Lies on the plane. Lies on the plane. So, you have to write the equation of the plane. Because we, uh, we have not written the solution anywhere so this is six therefore we have therefore we have we have twice u plus 3v plus 4w is equal to so we have this third equation we have this third equation Okay, so I write a, a here also uh, because I want uh, one point at least. So I will take a now here. Okay, so I will write a here. Yeah. Okay, so now you have to solve these three equations. Okay, so I will write these three equations also here. So for you minus v plus w is equal to five. Okay, so this is what one. Then the, your second equation what minus u. Minus 5v plus twice w is equal to 16. For this is 2. And your what? Twice u plus 3v plus 4w is equal to 6. For this is 3. So you have to solve these three equations simultaneously. Okay. So for that, you need the grammar rule. Or uh, we can solve this by what? We can put the value of w, w is here. Okay. This implies that w is equal to. 5 minus 4u plus v. 5 minus w is equal to what? Just shift all this here. Okay. Okay. So 2 implies that. 2 implies. I will put the value of w here. Then. Minus u minus v plus 2 times w is what? 5 minus 4u plus v is equal to 16. Is equal to 16. Okay. So this implies that. This implies that. How many u are there? So minus u minus 8u to minus 9u to minus 9u. So this is what minus 5v plus twice v. So this is minus 3v minus 3v minus 3v. Okay. So e is equal to uh, this constant this 10 is shifted to that side. So that means what 6. This is 6. Okay. So this implies that. Minus 9u will put uh, this is what 3u 3u plus v is equal to minus 2. I will call this as 4 now. I will call this as 4. Okay. Now 3 implies twice u plus 3v plus 4 plus 4 5 minus 4u plus v is equal to 6. Implies that. So if you made mistake somewhere, you will get the wrong now. You will get a wrong answer. Anywhere if you make mistake, you get wrong answer. First of all, see here, the method is same now here. Okay. So do that one. Okay. So how many you are there? So this is twice u. Minus 16 u. Twice u minus 16 u. So minus 14 u. Minus 14 u. Then this is what 3v uh, plus 4v. 
is seven mean? This is seven mean. E is equal. This is your six. This is twenty. This is twenty. Uh, six minus twenty. Six minus twenty is a minus fourteen. Is minus fourteen. Okay. Well, you can divide by seven now. So this one minus twice u. Okay, keep this minus twice u plus v is equal to minus two. So this is your five. Your five. Okay. So now uh, this is your four. This is your five. So this is what I will do this plus minus plus now. Okay. I will add this. Uh, I will subtract uh, four from five. So what I got now this is what. Three plus twice u. This is what five u. This is five u. E is equal to what? This is zero. This is zero. Minus two plus two. This is zero. So u is equal to zero. U is equal to zero. So if u is equal to zero, v is equal to minus two. V is equal to minus two. Okay. So v is equal to minus two. Then what is W then? W is equal. You can put U is equal to zero and V is equal to minus two here. U is equal to zero. V is equal to minus two. So five minus two uh, that is three. This is three. Okay. So check whether it satisfies this equation or not now. Okay. So this is zero. So two plus this. Okay. So this is the correct. This is zero. This is minus uh, plus ten plus ten plus six sixteen. This is correct. Okay. So it satisfy all the rules, okay? So therefore, therefore, O zero minus two dub uh, minus two three minus two three is the center of the center of the sphere. Center of the sphere. Center of the sphere. Okay. So radius. Radius is equal to O A is equal to root of root of. So you are A what this is okay? So three minus zero twelve. So zero plus two twelve. Then two minus three twelve. I have subtracted uh, O from A now. Three minus zero zero plus two. Then two minus three. Twelve. So this is what uh, nine plus four. Uh, Plus one, so this is root fourteen. Okay, it doesn't matter. It is root fourteen. So you have the center, you have the radius. By center radius form, by center radius form, the equation of sphere is the equation of the sphere is x minus zero square y plus two square. Z minus three square is equal to z uh, is equal to root fourteen square. Root fourteen square. Okay. So that is what x square plus y square plus z square plus four y minus six uh, z minus six z. Uh, I will shift the bracket to this side. So that is the fourteen. So this is what here four plus nine. This is the thirteen, so this is the fourteen minus one is equal to zero. Okay, so this is the required equation of the sphere. So note that if you make mistake somewhere, you will get the wrong answer. Okay, you have to take the care of this one. Okay, so if I made mistake somewhere, so I also I I may be wrong also. Okay, so you check for this answer once again. What that calculations? O S square is equal to O B square. O S square is equal to O C square. Check that calculation once again. Okay. So if so, uh, I made mistake somewhere, so then it will be wrong. Okay, you correct it yourself. Okay, so now we stop here.